What's up, Kevin the Tech Ninja here, and today we're comparing the AirPods Pro versus the Sony LinkBuds S. The AirPods Pro has been the staple of true wireless ANC earbuds for years now. They came out back in October of 2019, so they are two and a half years old. That shows how great they are as I still use these almost every day. And they're worth mentioning and comparing them to the latest and greatest for Sony. And also if the AirPods Pro 2 come out anytime soon, I'll be making a comparison video with those as well. Now Sony LinkBuds brand is the newest family of earbuds. The LinkBuds, which came out earlier this year, were designed to blend the outside world with the inside world with this unique build. These are the LinkBuds S and these are made for noise cancellation. It has ear tips and it seals the ear canals pretty good. And these will set you back $200. The AirPods Pro at release was 250 bucks and they are still priced at that price from Apple, but they can be found for around $200 from Amazon and other retailers as well. I'll be linking the best price possible down below. Both earbuds feature similar features like ANC, a charging case, some level of water resistance and transparency mode. The AirPod Pro does look dated compared to the LinkBuds S, which features a smaller design and a more attractive appearance. Once both are actually in the ear, I will say the AirPods Pro do feel better to me. I find the included tips to be better for my ears. Although I typically do purchase third-party tips from SpinFit, link down below. Out of the box, the LinkBuds S is not the most comfortable, and I've tried every single tip available. Just for some reason, that just doesn't, just doesn't feel great. Now, when discussing features, the Link Buds pack so many of them, and those features can be found within the software. Now, just like the XM5, it uses the Sony headphones app. That app can use a little bit of sprucing up in its UI, but once you get past that, you'll find a lot of useful features, like EQs, ambient sound profiles, which are based on location or action. So if you're at the gym, you can have maximum noise cancellation, but if you're at home, you can dial into a lower level so you can hear people around you. You can even take things a step further with autoplay. This is Sony's feature that automatically plays sounds or music based on what you're doing like music after a phone call or pleasing soundscapes during a walk or automatically play music when you put your earbuds in. It's a feature I don't typically use, but it shows that Sony does have a lot of features and then trying different things. The Link Buds also let you customize what happens when you tap or press and hold. You can change all the tap features on each earbud independently, which gives you a lot of different options when it comes to using them without touching your phone. The AirPods Pro aren't featured packed at all. You have noise cancellation and transparency mode, and you can adjust what the AirPods do when you tap the, the little stem, but that's really it. Apple's ANC and transparency modes are still exceptional, but without being able to dial in settings, it does fall short of what I like about the Link Buds S. Sony has made a push to provide better microphones in the latest version of the Link Buds S. With more people doing video meetings instead of going to actual offices, this is something that could be beneficial. So this is how it sounds in a quiet environment, but let's say we're in a coffee shop taking one of these phone calls. This is what you'd expect for sound. We have ambient noise to the left of me and to the right of me, and this is sort of how it would sound, and this is how the microphones will cancel out that audio. And here's the audio on the AirPods Pro. Same situation, I am here in a quiet environment, just having a conversation, speaking at a normal level. But then once we go into that busier coffee shop, this is what you would hear on the microphone. Let me know what you think, how it's canceling out the background sounds. Okay, so let's talk about sound quality. I use the mixed hardware between Android and iOS. I use Apple Music, Spotify, and even streaming from YouTube, and even taking phone calls to test audio. Now, I'm not an audio guy at all, and I'm not pretending to be one, so these are based on how I feel based on my testing and what sounds good to me personally. Now, with that being said, the Link Buds S has a considerable advantage to sound quality over the AirPods Pro. I found that not even tweaking the EQs, the Link Buds S have a richer sound with more soundstage and better bass response. Link Buds also give you LDAC support and DSEE for even better Bluetooth streaming, which gives you a big advantage over the AirPods, and I was able to test that too. The AirPods were never the best sounding, even when they first came out, but the ease of use, the sound modes, and decent mic made it worth the pickup. So when comparing these, I'd say it's no contest, the Sonys sound better to me. 
Now I've had a chance to travel with the AirPods Pro for years now. And recently I took the Link Buds S to New York. Now for me, the Link Buds S noise cancellation is better than the AirPods Pro, giving me granular control over my environment within the Sony app. When I was on a plane, the app knew I was in transit and adjusted the noise cancellation for that. Then when I was walking in the city, it knew I was walking and it gave me better transparency. In this example, popping in my earbud at a crowded restaurant, the outside noise just dropped down dramatically. I could still hear a little bit, of course, but it was truly impressive knowing the recognition on what environment I was in. All of this occurred automatically. So the AirPods noise cancellation is still good. And up until using the Link Buds, I felt that they were the best in this category. Now the AirPods A and C does adjust automatically in the background, but you don't know what it's adjusting and how it's adjusting. You have to trust Apple to actually make that decision for you and make the right decision, which sometimes I don't think it does. I think for me, not being able to go in and adjust the settings on the go is a major disadvantage. The Link Buds will net you six hours of listening time with ANC mode on, and with the case, you get an additional 20 hours. The case charges via USB-C. AirPods Pro will give you 4.5 hours of listening time with noise cancellation or transparency mode on, and with the case, you get around 24 hours of listening time. Five minutes of charge is around one hour battery life, and they also charge wirelessly too. The Link Buds S are my new go-to wireless earbuds, even as an iPhone user. The sound quality, the mic, ANC, and battery life makes me wanna pick these up every single time when I wanna listen to music or take a phone call. I think it's slick design and ease of use is just enough for me to wanna use it. Although they're not the most comfortable ones initially, getting some third-party tips should remedy that. Anyways, that's what I got for you guys. If you wanna pick these up, make sure you hit my links down below. Kevin the Tech Ninja, have a wonderful day. Talk to you guys later.